Hello. I am Han Aram. Welcome to AlisonPhysics.com. In this video, I want to explain the second part of Alice's law. You probably watched the first part. Now, I won't make subject repetition. If you haven't watched the first episode, first part of the video, please watch it first. Otherwise, you will not have the chance to understand any of what is explained here. We continue where we left off. Now, how was the subject? We had an airplane which was moving from point B to point C. And according to the reference system of the plane, in the first part, we have revealed that the speed of the signal is C plus V. In this section one will explain to you how we will measure this result. Of course, you can now measure in this way. So you can send a signal from an airplane to a station on the ground and try to measure the speed of that signal. Here's how you see it. However, your result will not be so clear. Our Alice law needs a clearer, more specific measurement. Because that particular measurement will eliminate all arguments. It will wipe out all arguments. After all, we need such a measurement. How can we make this measurement? Let's see it now. Now, our example was like this. There is an airplane going from point B to point C, and it sends the signal. Well, let's do the opposite. So when the plane goes from point B to point C again, let the station send the signal, not the plane. Like this. Look, if we do it this way, the result will not change. And according to the reference system of the station the speed of the signal sent will be C plus V. Now of course, making such a measurement will produce a very clear result. This is what matters. So we need to make such a measurement. Now I will explain theoretically why this measurement will be C plus V and why the result will not change. I will now make use of the Galileo relativity principle in doing this. This is an extremely important principle for Alice's law. Alice's law is almost wholly under the protection of this principle. Let me say that. Alice's law is extremely obedient to this principle. This principle says, the fundamental laws of physics are the same in all frames of reference moving with constant speed with respect to one another. This is what it says. Now, it looks simple. But this is a principle with profound implications. Now, let's see how we can make use of this principle for Alice's law. Now there is such a box in space, there is also an observer inside. Could this observer know his own motion direction and speed of motion? Galileo relativity principle says. A reference system cannot know whether it is in motion or not, based on itself alone, based on the results of its own reference system. Of course, we are talking about reference systems moving at a constant speed. Now, no matter how hard this observer tries, he will not be able to know whether he has gone or stopped, or his direction. 
Galileo relativity principle says that. Let's put another box here, like this. There is also an observer here. Now, this observer does not know in which direction and at what speed he is going, he does not have such information. However, of course, both observers can say that the other reference system is traveling at this speed in this direction. This observer may even say, I am not going anywhere, my box is standing where it is, it is the other box that goes, and it goes in this direction at this speed. He may say that. But this observer may say the same. Says, my box is not going anywhere, it stands where it is, and that is the other box that goes, it goes in this direction, and at that speed. Now, so who is right? There is no response to this. As a result, there are two reference systems in motion relative to each other, and there is no other information other than that. Let's move on to our example now. We said that, while building our example, an airplane is going from point B to point C and sends a signal on its way. This signal arrives at the station at point A. We created our example this way. So, according to what did we create this instance? We have created such a frame, even if it is not visible. This is our own frame, our observation frame. The station is motionless according to this observation frame because the movement direction and speed of movement of this observation window are equal to the station in here. Therefore, this station is still according to this frame. And this is how it happens when we watch from here. But we could also do like this. We could base the reference system of the plane, not the station. And we could make our speed and direction identical to the reference system of the plane. In this case, the plane would be motionless according to us. How would we observe the event? This way we would observe. Isn't it? Now, look. The event was like this. The plane goes from point B to point C, the signal arrives. So, we've determined what the signal speed is, outgoing signal speed, according to the plane's reference system. Look, what it is? These equations were formed like this. So, when we change our observation window, will these equations change? They will not change. According to the reference system of the plane, the outgoing signal speed will again be C plus V. But look what happened here. Here the following happened. According to us, we sent a signal from a stationary reference system to a moving reference system and we found that the speed of this signal is c plus v now does it matter if the earth is here doesn't matter because it is an event that takes place between two reference systems it is not related with the earth whether the Earth would be or not, after all, this is how the event occurs between the two reference systems. Now, thus, according to us, if we send a signal from a stationary reference system to a moving reference system, 
Like this, we have to measure the speed of this signal as C plus V. Now, look, you have to be a little careful here. Now, what is the direction of arrival of the signal according to the reference system of the plane? If you say AC, you will be mistaken. It is necessary to be careful here. Now, let's clarify it first. Now, just as we added one line to the plane for the outgoing signal line, now let's add a line to the plane for the incoming signal line. Look, this line is equal and parallel to the AB line. It is attached to the plane at one end, like this. Now, according to the reference system of the plane, we will see that the signal reaches the plane by following this line. Look, the signal, it reaches the plane by following this line. Let's see more clearly. To the reference system of the plane, the signal arrives by following this line. That line, AC line is the line of the outgoing signal for the station. It is something valid for that station. It is not valid for the plane. This is the line that is valid for the plane. Thus, look, what is the length of this line, D1? How long does it take for the signal to arrive? It arrives in time T0. D1 divided by T0 equals C. So, this is constant. Well, sure. Therefore, if we make this measurement from the plane, we get C. If we make this measurement from the station, we get C plus V. Thus, we saw some details of C plus V, C minus V, mathematics. We demonstrated with what measurement we can clearly see, C plus V, C minus V, mathematics in this presentation. Of course, now, this is a very important measurement. Because when this is done, first of all, the special relativity theory disappears. In other words, there is no possibility for the special relativity theory to survive when that result exists. Second, with this measurement result, electromagnetic theory will start to use C plus V, C minus V, mathematics. Of course, this will cause a huge change. But the real big change will be in the theory of physics and the perspective of physics. Physics will bounce forward approximately 100 to 150 years because it had entered a stable period. There are very rich theoretical results in Alice Law. I could explain some of them in my book. We will continue on this topic in the next video. So I mean, Doppler triangle. The Doppler triangle is not yet fully concluded. I have more details to tell. You see it is an important issue. We all together have seen what it has achieved here. I will continue with the Doppler triangle. I say goodbye to meet you in the next video. Thank you.